All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now officially Final Four completion time. It is eight o'clock by ours. We, we have taken a photo of the poll. We know exactly what the outcome of today's poll bracket two Final Four game poll is. It is amazing. We've got a lot to talk about. We've got a special guest commentator tonight. We even have another special bracket picker tonight, so you're gonna be ready for this. First, let's start off talking about bracket one, uh, final four, this is semifinals, final four. Uh, one poll we had right here, it was Amazing Grace versus Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Now this was stiff competition, it was good competition. We had uh, good participation, about 122 people participated with this poll, which was really, really good. Some of the other ones, we had about 100 each, but uh, this was a good 122. But as you can see, if you watched it, Amazing Grace pulled out in the lead, and it can maintain that lead throughout the entirety of the day. Came out on ahead, 63%, over 37%. Now, listen, we had a little issue with it. Somewhere about mid-morning, the poll was accidentally deleted, and uh, it was a great consternation going on in the office when that happened. But uh, I want you to know that uh, we got the poll back up as quickly as we can, and uh, we're not gonna say who who did that or who made that mistake, but anyway, uh, grace upon grace to that person, right? Uh-huh, anyway, listen, we had uh, uh, just as some of the most votes at that point, we had the most votes uh, for one of, our, one of our polls, so we believe everyone who wanted a chance to vote got a chance to vote, so we feel good about this. Amazing Grace went on to the World Championship hymn right there. So, all right. Then we come to today. Folks, oh my stars, Lord have mercy. Oh boy, talk about a photo finish. Hairline, just a nose to nose, coming in around the fourth bend, the final court. This was just overtime to the max. You won't, oh, I hope you watched it today. I hope you kept in and, and, and paid attention because a lot of people did. We had 100 and over 170, I think it was 176 people participated in this poll. Out of all of these polls, this one got the most attention. I believe it was because it was a photo finish, neck to neck all day long. In fact, about 11.16 this morning, it was exactly 50-50. But then one would pull ahead a little bit, and then the other one would pull ahead a little bit. It was all day long. We had people, with this many people who, who participated, obviously people were calling their grandma and their aunts. I, I think somebody called Aunt Zelda in, in, in Hoboken, New Jersey to vote. This was just absolutely amazing. I started looking through the list. You could look on the polls and see who voted for which one. And uh, it was really quite amazing how many people, I had no clue, no clue who they were. These were your friends, these were your relatives, and they participated. It was a close race of photo fish. This is what competition, friendly competition is all about. But in the end, the winner was clear. How great thou art edged out. It is well with my soul. Now I know this is a, was an emotional one today, folks. We had some comments. This was, this was very emotional for folks, but this is friendly competition. Remember that. Okay. All right. Now we are going on to talk about the world championship uh, poll right here, and so we have a very special guest commentator. He's going to talk to us about this 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 poll right here, which will take place Sunday. Amazing Grace versus How Great Thou Art. Man, that one out, fifty three to forty seven. It's just amazing. We got a guest commentator who's going to come in, a man who is no stranger to good competition and great hymns. Robert Bourne, come on in here. Everybody, hey, welcome, hey. Robert. We're so glad you're here. Elbows, awesome. very good. Thanks for very having good. me today, Dave. Hey. I'm so glad to be here. Glad you're so here, buddy. Glad, glad you're here. here. Now, good before you, you get into talking a little bit about each of these hymns, giving us a little background, a little information about them, that's going to help us on Sunday to make our vote so that we're not just making an emotional vote. Okay. Uh, okay. We're making an informed vote about the history, maybe some background, so that, okay. that when we vote on something, we're ready to go. But before we do that, okay. we have to talk about something. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I know Robert, going. Robert and Emily, in this poll, were a house divided. 
I told you I could look at the yeah. polls and I could see who voted for what. And Robert, you voted for which one? You know, I I, I don't want to reveal my hand too early, but I voted for How Great Thou Art. There you go. My wife there was wrong, and she voted for it as well. Wow. Everybody. Okay. So did you just <laughs> say your wife was wrong? I, this is a national television, so it's okay. It'll go away. A couple wow. Days. Okay. So anyway, uh, Emily, uh, pastoral counseling will be made available to you free of charge uh, if you need to. If you yeah, just need to need to talk about that. Anyway, a house divided, but uh, but you, right. you 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 two are together in the Lord. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that just okay. overrides everything. All right. Come talk to us about it. All right. So we're going to talk to you about two very important hymns that made it to the end here. Uh, it's interesting to note that uh, back in 2001, they did a survey. Uh, it was done by Christianity Today. The number one hymn on that survey was Amazing Grace, believe it or not. And number two was How Great Thou Art. You're kidding me. These two have already been in the competition uh, before. They have. They were a poll, and this was the exact same look that they had. In Christianity Today. 2001. 2001. Same thing that we're seeing here. So that's very interesting. Believe it, folks. That's amazing. You that's just amazing. Just, and it seems that the slow, the more majestic hymns seem to be winning out over maybe some of these faster ones, maybe newer ones. So it's interesting yeah, to yeah. see that. So I'm going to go here to how great they are. Tempo matters. Tempo matters. Tempo Absolutely. matters. This there day you go. Is tempo matters. So we're going to look here at our number two uh, look based on that poll. Yeah, there you go. Be nice to it. Uh, so this is how great thou art. The version that we sing has been was popularized in 1953. So it's a newer hymn. You know, we're only looking at like 60, 70 years old. Uh, it was translated and written by Stuart K. Hine. He was a, a Russian. Uh, Russian. He, he's not Russian. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay. no, he was in Russia. In Russia Russian at song. the time. That's right. Okay. okay. And he translated there. Okay. Uh, this was actually made famous in the uh, late 60s, early 70s during the Billy Graham Crusade. That's really where it got its momentum. So really? I think we're still riding a little bit of that momentum into yeah, today's spirit of Billy Graham. Yeah, on absolutely. This Maybe okay. that's where that came from. The okay. end, you know, a little okay. wind, spirit still of Billy Graham. That way. So this is a hymn just on how amazing God is. Okay, I'm going to switch real quick right here into the technicals. You know, i got some music lovers, music nerds out there. So we're going to talk about some technicals. Uh, this is in the key of B flat. Okay. B flat. That's right. I, I didn't know. There's two of them. There's two flats. Two flats. B flat. Okay. B flat. So okay. it's a little darker tone to it. Maybe a little bit more comfortable in range, perhaps. Okay. 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 Uh, this is a four four meter. Okay. So four one, two, four meter. Three four. That might be important to you. Four four meter. Two okay. fours. That's four right. four. Four okay? four. Uh, and then if we talk about maybe the, the the scope of it, it starts out a little slow and it starts to pick up towards the end with Builds the big. Up. That's right. The big big ending. Big finish. And harmonically, it's a little bit more complex. Okay, so this okay. one's a little bit more varied in the language it uses. When we talk about a competition, we've got to talk about momentum, guys. Momentum. We've got to talk about Very momentum. Very important. Where did it come from? How did it get here? So we talked a little bit about today's close game, neck and neck, and it came out at the end. It'll be interesting to see if that's what happens tomorrow. So clear a Sunday, winners. not tomorrow. Sorry, I, I want to jump ahead. Sunday is Sunday is okay. when we do it because you got to get the preview. Okay. okay. So on Sunday. Uh, we're going to give you a little preview of these guys. It'll be interesting to see if that's how it performs tomorrow. Uh, but you got to wonder how these guys are feeling after today's close race. The supporters of this hymn right here, how great they are. Are they going to feel more invested? They got to, you know, they got to get their votes in. Call Aunt Sue from wherever to Hoboken, New Hoboken, Jersey. Hoboken, New Jersey. That's right. Are they going to campaign for this one because it was so close today? You got to okay. wonder. Okay. All right. So here we go. Switching to the number one, then the favorite right here. This comes all the way from 1779. 1779. 1779. Written by a guy named John Newton. A lot of you guys already know the story. There's a great movie about it. The, the message in this is deeply tied to John Newton's personal story, and that might be why people feel like they it's have a that personal connection, connection to, to the story. To a person, John Newton. Okay. Um, and then you've got that message of forgiveness and redemption, regardless of sin there, just universal. Everybody needs to hear that. So you've got a Absolutely. little different message right there. It's the gospel right That's there. That's right. That's the gospel. Right, right there. Good. Now, well, let's switch to technical real quick. So we got B flat here. Okay. Then we got a little bit brighter key in the key of F, only one flat. Okay. okay. So okay. we got to see what is that. Tell F is not a grade. Are. It's the key. That's right. That's right. You got okay. It. Unless you're a supportive of how great thou art, and then <laughs> maybe you want to give. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, maybe I don't know. Anyway. All right. So and then the meter is three four. So we've got one less flat, and we've got one less beat over here to work with. Okay. Three four and four four. That's right. You got okay. it. Three four four All right. four. All okay. Right. This is a whole, music nerd. We're getting a whole musical education music here, folks. Okay. Education. They're gonna get it. So, but what's great about this one is it's got an instantly recognizable. Um, you already know what song. You, you already know that song. Two notes. You know you what it, it is, right? This takes a little bit while to build up, but because of that, we're kind of stuck in the box here. This is traditional, you know, 1770s. Okay. We don't get outside the box like we do over here. 
Now let's go to, again, in any competition, you've got to talk about momentum, how momentum. we got here. Momentum this right here. amazing grace has shown no grace to any of its competitors. In Absolutely this not. None. 80%, 64%, 63%. All these lower, 20s, 30s, 30s, it's no right. grace. Okay. No grace, even though it's about God's amazing grace, it has shown no grace to those competitors. So you've got to wonder, are they going to ride that momentum? Okay, or are they going to okay. not maybe show out? They've got the number one seed, you know, that okay. sort of thing. Okay. Are we going to the show out? position. That's right. That's so right. Are they going to show out? We don't know. It'll be interesting to see tomorrow. Maybe we have another neck and neck. Sorry, on Sunday. Sunday. Maybe That's we have another neck and neck. Okay. okay, and then maybe we get another Billy Graham win from the end there, a little okay. revival so, at the so, end of the day. So there. we could have neck and neck all day. We could have one pull ahead early and stay the lead. Perhaps. Or we might have one Perhaps. that pulls out, pulls out at the lead at the very end to make it that exciting. Okay, boy, this is great. This is great. You, you got to wonder. It's gonna be you, so. You get a preview on Sunday. Preview on Sunday. That's right. All right. So Sunday we will sing both of these hymns, "Amazing Grace" and "How Great Thou Art." We're gonna have both those hymns in our traditional service. You're going to love them. Now, this is what we need to do. We're going to come over here to bracket picks, okay? We've got amazing, can't even spell, grace. We'll give you grace on that one. Thank you. Versus how great thou art. Okay. All right. So we got these two, and, uh, and I'm going to make a pick, and then Robert is going to make a pick, and here in a minute, our guest picker <laughs> is going to come in and make her pick. So here we go. This is uh, Robert. My pick out of these two. This is who I would like to win. Okay. Both of them are great hymns. Hear me out. I love both of these hymns. It's hard for me to make this decision, but I have to go with with the one that just stands out to me. Okay. And that is how great they are. That's what I'm picking. Okay. Robert, what about you? You know, I, I just, I, I love an underdog. I, I, I love Billy Graham. I love wins. Oh. I love revival. So I, I just, I got to go with how great they are. Wow. Oh, oh man. Too. We're bucking the system I, right here. Major. Right here. Okay. All right. So our guest picker for today is my favorite youngest daughter, and that is Rebecca Bershear. Rebecca, come in here. Say hi to everybody first, okay? Everybody say hi to Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca, this is not the one you think necessarily will win, although it might. This is one the one that you want to win. Don't let me influence you, but you pick whichever one you want to pick. Which one is it? Holy wow. cow, folks. All right. Oh, Thank you so much, you. Rebecca. No, yeah, but so we've got three votes right here for how great thou art. How will you vote is the question. Because I want to see not just 175, I want to see 200 people voting for their favorite world championship hymn. Now, we've got some break time here, okay, folks? It's Friday night when we're filming this. We're taking tomorrow off. Sunday, we'll worship together Sunday morning. Uh, we'll sing these songs in traditional service at 11. And then all day long, because we'll, the votes will open at Sunday at 7 a.m. and we'll go to exactly 8 p.m. And then we will find out at 8 p.m. who is the great winner. We'll probably do a short video for the winner, and so you'll know uh, you'll know who that is. Hey, thanks so much for participating in this uh, great hymn tournament. This has been a lot of fun this week. Uh, we, will, we will have taken a whole week to do this, but it was a lot of fun to do, and we're just so glad that you've been a part of it. Robert, thank you so much for Absolutely. Thank you for having thanks me. Thanks for your expert Love input it. on all this. Absolutely. This is great. We thank Chris Pavlov for helping out. We thank Andy Alexander for helping out. Luke got to be the guest poll person. Cam uh, Campbell Pavlov was behind the camera on our first one. I should have had him. I didn't think about it. I should have had him come as well to help us out. Listen, thank you so much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you later. Yeah.